This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing Neisseria gonorrhea, which you can see right here. This scene will take place in the air inside of a gondola. For those of you who may not know, a gondola is a container that carries passengers up a mountain. If you've ever been skiing or snowboarding, you probably know what I'm talking about. Anyways, gondola sounds kind of like gonorrhea, so we've made this scene taking place in a gondola to help you remember that this image is all about Neisseria gonorrhea. Before we get too far into the story, take a moment to appreciate the beautiful scenery. Notice that we've included a pink sunset to help you remember that this is a gram-negative organism. This is a gram stain of Neisseria, which we covered in the last two videos, but here it is again for your review. The stain is red or pink, which is why it's a gram-negative organism, and the bacteria are circular shaped. Also notice that they form little pairs right next to each other, which you can see right here, for example. This is why Neisseria are classically described as gram-negative diplococci. Okay, moving on, notice that we've shown the overview image on the inside of the gondola. Quite literally, the exact same image that's shown right here. This is to help you connect this image with the overview image so you can remember all of the overview information when you think of the gondola. We're not going to cover the overview information again, but please be sure to watch the Neisseria overview video. Next, notice that we've shown two unique pillars that help provide structural support to the gondola. Pillar sounds like pili, so in this image, they represent pili. The fact that there are two of them and that they look distinct from one another is to help you remember that Neisseria gonorrhea exhibits antigenic variation of its pili. We discussed this idea a bit in the overview image, but we like to reinforce it here because antigenic variation of the pili is what allows Neisseria gonorrhea to evade the immune system, and it's also the reason why vaccine development has been difficult. So antigenic variation of its pili is possible because the organism has complex genes that code for the pili. As the genes undergo recombination, the pili are significantly altered. And like I just said, the pili are an important virulence factor because they allow the organism to evade the immune system. So two unique pillars for antigenic variation of pili. Now we've added this guy in the gondola who is peeing off the ledge. I guess he couldn't wait until they got to the top of the mountain. If you look closely at this guy's shirt, you can see that we've included the letter S on it. This is a reference to the Scarlet Letter. For those of you who haven't read the book, it's basically about the life of a woman who conceives a daughter through an affair. In the story, this woman is required to wear the letter A on her dress in front of the townspeople, which stands for adulteress. So as a reference to the novel, we thought the letter S on this person's shirt would be a good way to help you memorize that Neisseria gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted infection. 